Alright, so today I'm making a video to show people who need fi video file converters. I'm making a video on how to get one. It's free, it's good, and it converts pretty much, well, almost any file. Alright, so the file, the video converter is called is NH NCH Prism video converter now it's really easy to use all you do is add your file in and um and uh that noise you just heard was my house phone ringing um but anyway you download it this is how you download it you go to you pretty much type it in Google or then go to the first uh first link they have <coughs> and so right now I'm downloading it because I'm using Safari I it does this instead of just the regular just start downloading it like on the Internet Explorer but oh well, I like Safari. So basically, you just do the regular old thing, you know, agree with the terms, press the next button, finish all that, and then um, after this little part goes, but uh, you know, to the next, this usually comes up. And um, what this is is related programs by NCH. You know, there's a lot of different ones. With each program that you get, you get different ones. But um, they're all cool. I have the this. I have the Photo Stage Slideshow and the um, Express Burn. I have the Switch Audio. Now those are the only ones I really need though. But I'm not even gonna get any right now. And then done. And then. Here's NCH Prism Video Converter. Now the way to use it is you click the Add File button, or you could drag and drop, whatever, you know. And um, see, I have a lot of videos and stuff right here, so I could just choose from these. But I use well, sometimes I do because I got to put them on my iPod. But today I'm not. Alright, so I'm gonna switch this file to Flash from SWWF to Flash and convert. It it doesn't really take that long. It takes a couple seconds, then it's done. You know. Uh oh. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can't use this for SWF files. Well, there's one file you can't use it for. Uh, let's see what other files could I use it for. Um, let's see. I'm gonna find a video here, and I'm gonna go to that. Let's see if I can find one. Okay, the almost say this sooner. Okay, from Flash to, let's see, uh, MP4, alright, click the convert button, it initializes, um, more likely it'll be done really quick, and then you go to 
you go to the wherever you put that file <coughs> and it should be there like so watch I gotta figure out where I put the file, my videos. Open my videos. Oh, let me guess, I put it back in here, huh? Oh, let me try it again. Okay, almost. MP4. I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it to my desktop. All right. Okay. Convert. Then it says the video position, how far into the video it has converted already, and um, it usually doesn't take that long. Like especially for uh music videos and stuff like that. You know, three minute, you know, three to five minute videos doesn't really take that long. And I probably the reason why I probably sound like this because I'm sick, but uh, still make videos for y'all because you know I love my fans. Alright, so after it's done, you can close it or whatever you want. And there it is. Almost. Say this sooner. And the different uh MP4. And there's the photo stage that I said I was that I was talking about before. And um Yeah, I can close this now. Sometimes when I have too many programs running at once, my computer, you know, does weird things. Just like a lot of other people's computers. Yeah, I have a lot of programs on my desktop. But anyway. I didn't mean to double click the uh, video because I don't want to play it. But you know, it still works for you know. Uh, no, I don't want it to come up. Well, um, I hope you like this video. You know, it's really good. Well, not really good, but you know, you can use it. You can copy it, whatever. So, uh, RZ out.